There's my original. There's my duplicate. So a lot of you who have been following me for a while know that I built an injection molding machine earlier in the year and I haven't really done a lot with it because I uh, haven't had molds. Now here I thought that the molds had to be carved out of aluminum and that was just a, a stumbling block in my mind uh, but uh, I was talking with my girlfriend the other day and she says well can't you just make them out of plaster like they do for ceramics and you know that makes sense so that's what we're making today. We'll start by cutting this aluminum and then bending it up in the pan break. Here I'm scribing out the lines that I'll later cut with the bandsaw. A lot of times you would use tin snips, but I didn't want to deal with the warping that the tin snips cause in the metal. So I just used the bandsaw. And of course I forgot to hit record when I did use the bandsaw so you guys didn't get to see it. Okay, so here I've got two aluminum boxes. They're going to be the two halves of the mold. Uh, they are not watertight, which they will need to be. Um, I'm not going to weld them up. I'm just going to line them with cellophane, and that should do just fine. Okay, so this is what I'm duplicating. It's a coat hook that looks like a finger. I think it's pretty funny. And here's what I've, here's what I've done is the screw that it screws into the wall with, I just left that in here, and this is going to be the receiver that will plug up into the uh, injection molding nozzle. The plastic will flow in here through the cavity that is left behind and, uh, and fill it up. And this will give me a place to put the actual screw that's going to be in there. Okay. Now let's put that down in there. Halfway. Oh, I forgot the mold release. Okay, now I'm gonna come in with a putty knife and scrape it off. Okay, now I'm going to let that completely cure. Okay, let's see if that'll come out without tearing out. It wants to come free. Okay. All right. I don't want the two halves of the mold to stick together. So this time I will put this in. Okay. Now we'll mix the other half of the mold and we'll put this on top of it. And since this will hold in, this is holding in there just fine, I think I'm gonna just stick it in there right now. And leave it till it cures. Okay, that's set up pretty good. Let's see if we can get it apart. It came apart just fine. Let's see if we can get the mold out or the master out. Okay. <clears throat> That's it, we've got both halves. 
it's time to fire up the injection molder. Now the last thing we need to do is actually punch a hole in here where the injector nozzle is going to be. So I'll just mark that together. Then we'll clamp this and just drill a hole right into there. Okay, so here's our master, and we want, we want there to be a screw in there, so we have to put the screw into the mold. Okay, so the way I'm going to hold this in place is we'll just, uh, it's clamped together, we'll uh, plug it onto the nozzle, and then we'll just use a couple of wedges to uh, tighten it up into place. Okay, now we'll plug it in, fire it up. Okay, here we go. All right, well, it's either full or it clogged. <coughs> and let's find out which. It clogged right there so I think I'm going to enlarge the passageway and I'll just do that with the drill We got plenty of plastic oozing out. I think it filled. So now I'm gonna just let this cool for a while. Okay, this has cooled off quite a bit. Let's see what it looks like. Well, look at that. That that looks good. Well, that, uh, that looks all right. I think that's going to clean up just fine. Let's, uh, yeah, let's cut off the excess and see what, ha what we get. Okay, so here's, here's my original. Here's the copy. I, I think this is going to clean up okay. Let me, let me work on it a little bit and I'll bring it back. Well, friends, that worked. There's my original. There's my duplicate. That worked. Well, friends, I'm calling this a win. This has definitely proven the concept that we can use a plaster mold with the injection molder. And uh, I'll be adding this video to the playlist of all the injection molding videos that I've done so far. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I need to get better at making molds, but now that I have a proof of concept, I, th I think I'll uh, devote some attention to this and there will be other videos as I uh, improve. So, uh, that's all for today. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over there to see something on mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.